Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, Bear Hall. Um, not Bear Hall. Bear Hall? No, Battle of the, Battle of the Bears. I forget it. It's been a long time. So, from England, Northern Monk's Faith. And uh, it's a strange that it's come on this. Um, I've got a new light. And, uh, wow, I've got blind, blind about the line. And also, we have Brewdog. Brewdog Indy. So, get two glasses. Good evening, mate. How are we? Uh, two glasses. Let's get a Guinness glass. And let's get a, a Guinness glass. Right. Good evening. Just over an hour away before the big match. Um, should be interesting. Um, let's hope it's a great match. You know, we all, we all want a match that um, where the referee is not the most important person on the pitch. So, just going to bring the uh, comments up on the right hand side. So, when the mouse works. Good evening. So, predictions for tonight then. Whether, whether you, what you know, I mean, obviously. There's what we'd like, and then there's what we think is going to happen, and uh, it's, it's never quite as easy to draw back, is it? Hey, we'd all love a, a decent win, depending on who you support. But uh, a good match, really, what we want. Let's show the rest of Europe and the, um, how, we, how to play the prop game properly. That's it, that's better. Right, we'll get there in a second. So I've got a new light beaming at me. I don't know if the picture quality is any better uh, with this light. Wow, lots of people doing lives tonight. So Craig's doing a live. Blue Nose is doing a live. Wow, 2-0 to England, comfortably, you think? It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Just to see um, your channel. That's it. Click on that, and then I can see the comments as well. Really. Pop out chat. It's coming home. It, we always want that, don't we? We always think, let's do that. It'll be interesting. The comments. So, when we look at the cans, you've got to say all day long that the Northern Monk can does kind of batter the... Uh, the Scottish Brewdog can. I mean, that the Brewdog can there is a, it's a bit boring, it's a bit bland. Yeah, um, the knee taking thing. The knee, and good evening. The knee taking thing. Now, I don't know if anybody here remembers uh, Viv Anderson. He was the first black. Um, Footballer to play for England. He's also from Nottingham Forest and still lives in Nottingham. I'm not sure if he's a Nottingham person or not. And he was on about it this morning on Radio Nottingham. And what he says kind of brought, brought it home to me a little bit. You're going live at 1 a.m. interview with chat with Rod J. Fucking mate, that'd be a good interview. Very late at night. But so there'd be a lot of well, you might get some people on the bit. That was some drunk people around. Yeah. And what he was saying was the taking of the knee is a very powerful um uh, um sign of what they're doing. And he, he also said it's nothing to do with the um, the political side of things. So, yeah, I mean, I still don't agree with it, but, you know, each of them, everyone's got their own opinion on the matter. So, let's crack these open. So, Faith, a hazy pale ale, 5.4% Northern Monk. So, looking at the cans, I'm going to say that England are one little up on the can. <laughs> right then, let's have, a look at, let's have a look at the beer inside. 5.4% hazy pale ale. And this one, 
independent pale ale. Um, ABV side of things is 4.2%. So, yeah. Ah, Neil to no one. Not even the one. So hopefully this light is giving me back colour. I'm not 100% sure what we're supposed to do with it. No, no, it's just their normal fate. But one nil to England. Ooh, that's a big score. Get a couple of goals in though. If they play like if they play Sterling, but then again, the Scottish played the English. A lot of them Scottish players have played a lot of our English players, so they know who to watch. They know who to man mark out the day. I think it'll be closer than than you know, closer match than what we all think. It'll be an interesting match. Um, so nice looking pour from uh, Brewdog. Um, put that there actually. So can actually see the can. There we go. Nice looking pour from Brewdog. Um, in this light, on there it looks golden. In this light, it looks like straw coloured. Strange, isn't it? With the, with the light, uh, with lots of carbonation there, inch of head, <sighs> a bit bland on the nose. If I'm being honest, there's a citrus, there's a hint of citrus on the nose. Right, let's have a look at the old uh, Northern Monk. Now, I have reviewed this before. Grealish, yeah. I mean, what is our best team? What's the Scottish best team going forward? Who are the players to watch on both sides? You obviously, you know, you want to watch these players and see, see, you know, who are the best players to watch. I've not really watched any football this last year. I keep hearing about Foden, but I don't really know Foden that much. So, hazy ball, slightly yellowish. Looks like dishwater compared to the other one. So, um, on the nose. Plenty of free kicks. So, on the nose, even though that's more bland, Robertson, we had a Robertson from Nottingham Forest who used to play for um, Goody, who used to play for um, John Robertson, Robertson, and uh, he was one of the best in the world. Amazing player. In fact, him and Viv Anderson actually played against each other at the same time for their respective countries, England and Scotland. I know you're on about the new, the new lad, Robertson. Bellingham. I don't really know Bellingham. Do you know, I've had a, a full year off the... Uh, text the, text the, comp, uh, the text left-handed giant AZ IPA. I play. Viv Anderson and John Robertson. Nottingham Forest had some team back then. Wow. <laughs> so, on the note, good evening. Even though that's got more tropical notes, I actually prefer the blue dog on the notes. So it's, it's one all now. On the looks, you've got to say that the, that the blue dog looks a nicer pine than the, the northern monk. So 2 1 at the moment. Oh, dear, oh dear, not doing well. Oh, Was he not a Birmingham player? Bellingham. Eighteen years old, eh? You see all these young lads that do well, and I don't know what it is with Nottingham Forest. We get young lads, they do well, and then they get bought off. And then, then they go to another club. And all the time you never hear from them again. They never they don't seem to do anything. Good evening, Tab.
moved to Germany. Germany might be good for him. I mean, we've had a, we've had a couple of players go there and done really, really well. Spain would be a good place for some of these players. Dortmund, ah, Dortmund, good, good club, aren't they? You know, you can't fault them really. So, on the tape. Little bit of bite. Tropical. Thirty grand a week. I wish I could get thirty grand a week sitting on the bench. Work for peanuts. <laughs> Kyle Walker. Yeah, I didn't watch the Croatia match, to be honest. No, I wouldn't. I was at 46 hours. Good evening. <laughs> I'm talking about Budo. Here is the Budo. And again, Northern Monk's got the better nose, as in tropical. But the nose on this just just gets me better than the boot of the Northern Monk. Obviously, when I go up the house, I'm going to take me um, Imperial Cream Stout. Obviously, not cola, but um, I must admit, I went to the Brewdog Pub with Bourbon and Beer Reviews the other week, and um, so a few weeks ago now. And in there, um, the the glass that they bought the Imperial Stout in was absolutely amazing. Uh, that and the glass that I've got from Bang the Elephant, where uh, yeah, I mean that's my favourite glass out of all my glasses. Apart from the fact it's manky, um, but the one that from Brewdog is absolutely amazing. I would love to buy that glass one day, especially for Imperials, drinking Imperial styles. So I'm hoping that the picture quality shows it better tonight. Um, daughter's brought me one of these like stand things that you get from, she got from B&M Bargain. It was only three quid. And it's got a light. Was it a take I don't remember. I have no idea. Similar sort of thing to that, but like rounded. I've got a picture of it on on Facebook, and it's it's got like a rounded thing that, that tapers in at the top, and uh, absolutely stunning glass. You know, I think the the glass uh, helps sell the beer because the it was a cracking imperial stout, but in that glass as well, just unbelievable. Funny having the comments over. I've got the comments on the screen there, but because it's StreamYard, because I'm using StreamYard to uh, schedule a review in, I'd rather use uh, oh, YouTube. I can't schedule reviews on YouTube. Would I buy Brewmaster Snake Venom again? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just to do another... Um, I want drunk that night. Well, not until later on. Um, should have nicked the glass. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> the sound seems different. Oh, right. Maybe got some crap in the uh, in the uh, microphone a bit. I'll blow it up. I don't want to blow all your eardrums. Yeah, yeah. I bet that a glass is tenor on its own as well. The one from Brudo. Bet it is. So it should be a good match tonight. Um, I'm going to go out next week and buy some old Toms, ten of them, and uh, get ready for this old Tom challenge. Um, should be interesting. Can I do ten old Toms? I'm not, I don't know. I don't think the first three or four are even at the sides. It's when you get to about six or seven and you start feeling it. And, um, <clears throat> and then, uh, then it starts to hit you. And 
be very interesting. 15 pounds, no, 16 pounds, 20 pence, 12. So I might as well buy an extra two for, for, for future reviews or future battles or whatever. But um, yeah, as the best place for that. Yeah, mentally I did at work, but uh, well, not in the evening. <clears throat> I'm just hoping it don't clash with an England match. It'd be just my luck that England are playing the same shipping night. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting. I mean, you don't have to get to 10. It's, that's why it's a challenge. And I think Simon, when he did the Duvel one, he only got to about seven, didn't he? And he had to knock it on the head. But Scott did all 10 and was absolutely steaming. Good evening, mate. And, um, uh, Bear Hooligan, whose channel still hasn't come back on. Um, I think he, he did 10 and looks over. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking forward to getting drunk, uh, just having a load and sit just 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 to see Bear Hooligan did 20. I reckon his wife was helping him on the side. Quick sly one while, while, while the camera's not on him. Is there a time limit? Not thought about that. Don't want to be down the shed too long, though. I reckon uh, at the maximum two hours. Yeah, I know. No, that, that's the thing sometimes gets made. Why I don't buy multiple beers anymore, if anything. Yeah, I think an hour and a half time limit. Two, two hour time limit. I'm mean, before you probably said, yeah, two hour time limit. It should be a maximum. Bear in mind, get a bolt in anyway. Or even an hour and four. Yeah, you'll probably beat us, Alex. Yeah. We'll probably all, all be absolutely steaming. I mean, yeah, I know how many have when you told us how many Imperial we've had in a day. Three hours. Two, I think two hours is, is good. I, I think two hours. So I do get a poppy bar with this. Um, drinking brains essay and at our price. Bless you, mate. Have a good one. Six pints. Six pints in, into a lot in the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah, six pints into what? I mean, I could I could drink six pints of my Imperial now, which is stronger than um, than old Tom, and uh, I could six pints, three liters. Mm. I mean, I could do two and a half liters of um, of wine in a night. I really want it. So, oh. so it's got much more stronger um, on the nose this is than the uh, the Rudolph. It's got better now. It's actually got the air to it. There's a bit of a funkiness to it when I first cracked it open. I'm not really keen on. I've got to try. Good evening. I've got to try not to fall asleep watching the football. Ten old Tom and Whiskey Chasers. I don't think anybody would do that, would they? That would be that would be rather too much. The A fever's been brilliant today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night I looked like I'd been getting a good idea. Um with all the rain today it's stopped it, which is great, you know, but uh, it wasn't nice. Although the Scottish fans are in London spraying the beer, I hope spray no. Unless I've gone to the pound shop and or the same has got some of the cheap one pound stuff and then sprayed some of that. But I won't be doing it the pop beer. Eight pound a pound and you're spraying it in the air, no chance. At least it's gone dry in London. It's dry in Nottingham now. It's been raining all day though. 
Trappist Day or beer selection. That's very nice. Father's Day. My uh, my little and ten year old, he's bought me loads of um, local beers. Father's Day. I'm not sure what the other two are doing. I've got three children. I've got a daughter who's 28, 29 this year. I've got a son who's 20, uh, yeah, 25. And then I've got another son who's 10. I think I've got a trap in there, yeah. I have. So Tint Meadow. There's no English there, can't be public, right? Yeah. I'm not really keen on London, but yeah, that's the one I'm going to be reviewing in a few days' time. English Trappist Ale from Leicestershire. So looking forward to that. Oh, and yeah, the dog, the dog is wrong. Dog needs to get me a beer. The English Trappist beer. Yeah, it was about four or five quid, I think it was, to buy. I don't think it was too expensive. I got it from low cost beer. Um, it's strange, really, because you get that's in Leicester, and Emperor's Brewery is from Leicester as well. So, should be a good match tonight. Um, looking forward to it. Um, as beers go, I've got to be honest, they're both a bit on the bland side, but it, uh, it was a nice little chat before the game, see how the game goes. Um, the thing is, sometimes winning the group, it's, you've, got to, you've got to play it. You've, you've got to look at what, who you're going to get in the next round. And I know that you know, if you're going to win a tournament, you've got to play, go up against your can. But um, sometimes you want to avoid the likes of Germany, France and things like that, if you can. Um, but I suppose in this tournament, England can beat any of them teams. They can all beat us as well. So, um, I mean, look, 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 look where Iceland, when they beat us. Rubbish. I mean, the last World Cup was really, really good for us. So hopefully, we can carry that on and uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. But it's going to be interesting nonetheless. So, £2.55. Right. Well, maybe it wasn't that much. Then maybe it was about three fifty, not three pound or something. Right. I'll have, to have a look later. Yeah, and I'll have a look double to double check what I did pay. You reckon the picture's looking great? So I've, I've got a light on. So there's a light. Yeah, let me flick around with the settings. So one minute. So that's that's one colour. That's another colour. Wow, look, I've got a suntan there. Bloody hell, that looks awful. That's better. God, oh dear. Thank you. So, looks like my McDonald's has arrived. So, can't be to McDonald's before the uh, big match, can you? Only problem is, I hate eating it with people watching. So, it will have to sit down there a little bit. So, yeah, I might actually kill this off in a second and, and actually do a review um, because these two. Ugh. Um, what, am I, what am I drinking? I'm drinking that cream stout. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drink a nice, strong stout. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that this line actually helps because you know we've we've gone on the internet the the the, the better the uh, light when you do a video um it, the light makes such a difference and obviously it would be hard there as well depend on your phone
What a shame both teams are not. <laughs> um, I think it's tough. I think it'll be a closer match. I, I do. I think it'll be reasonably close. Um, it's uh, obviously Scotland have got to win. Scotland need to win. Oh, your dad's doing peer review. Bless him. Yeah, it's um, it's um, at the start. Yeah, I'm on 4G. I have as well on my, on my signal. But I use a Samsung A71 phone as well. I use bottles for my own, but well down. Yeah, yeah. But as for peer review, you know, it's... Uh, it's um, having the courage to do it, talking to a camera about this, and then just carry it on from there. You'd be surprised once you get into the flow. Tonight, it's it's doing me a bit tonight, because it's not in its normal place there. It's on this thing with that light glaring at me. And um, but obviously, it, it helps with the light, so it's all, it's all good in that respect. But, uh, it's, it's a little bit different. Good evening. Be very, very. Um, God, you, you want any issues with the TV tonight? Would you with this game on? Bottling's good as well because bottles last a lot longer. In the bottles, they last long. Plus, you don't once you once you crack the barrel open, you've only got a two and a half week window to drink forty pints. And it's not easy drinking 40 pints at the same. 10 old Toms would be something, you know, to drink 10 old Toms. Um, even even your nicest beer that you really love, it's not easy drinking um, loads at the same. But, um, it's, uh, just can't be done with it. So, I want to have three beers at the but um, yeah, definitely, definitely bottling. I mean, if I'm doing a wine, then I don't mind putting a wine in the barrel. To be fair, because um, wines in the barrel do seem to um, last a lot longer. What supermarket, old Tom, has that? Tesco's used to sell it on a four for six, but I couldn't see it in um, Porto. Um, I couldn't see it in uh, Tesco's the other day, so I presume they've got rid of it. Sainsbury's also sell it, but um, Asda is king. It's on a four for three in Asda. So much better place to get it from if you, if you are doing that. So I'm drinking um, fake. No tango light, no. <laughs> I know what you mean. Faith, um, that's the English beer. Oh, you'll like old Tom. Yeah, 8.5%. Nice. And um, Brewdog's in it. To be fair, I've got to be honest, to be fair, they're both a bit bland, but uh, they're both not the greatest. But it was a, I've reviewed them both before, so it was a good way of getting two beers out of the way that I've always drank before. And um, just come on here, do a bit of a chit chat, bit of see see what we think. I think it'll be I think the England will win it two one, but it'll be a really really tough match. Or do I think I hope England win it two one? What ne ne what neither team wants is a good idea. You don't want to get panned. Um, you know, if you was England and you got panned four 0 or the same your way around, you know, Scotland get battered four. -nil. Yeah, your you, old Tom's very really nice. It's a good strength, and uh, after two or three of them, you'll get a real taste for it. It's the closest thing in normal normal supermarket. 
Brexit to an imperial before before these la this last lot of crap beers come out because I mean now Mo Morrison's have got um, Conrad Stout the imperial and then also the North Stars a champion ale in the second in fact I'm gonna net these two to get on to the thing now. I've got to say this, this brew dog effort. I really am finding it bland. It's not the best of the brew dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm finding it really, really bland. Um, it's not a nice beer at all. It really isn't. It's um, I've got own brew that's better than this. And in fact, the Northern Monk one, you know. Not good at all. Neither of them are a good representation of their. Um... So basically, a week on Friday. So yeah, Friday today, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, two weeks today. Punk IPA for you. Even though Punk IPA has gone down in ABV now, you still like it the same. I mean, for me, I, I prefer the, well, the stouts that I had. Yeah, Brewdog stouts, the. I can't remember the name of it, something grain stout. Um, that was amazing. So, yeah, bland, citrus, um, really not that interesting there at all. Oh, well, I've not bought that one yet. The Wild Child Chocolate Fudge Brownie does sound nice. No, I think they're both average, David. Both, both. Not that great. Is my own brew beer finished now, Darren? Uh, three kits are. Three kits are done for. I've got a honey porter kit just there. I've got a chocolate stout kit to go on. So, um, oh, it's not, it's not the greatest. It's, I just thought this isn't going to be like match, you know, bland. You start off with the cans, you think to yourself, this looks good. You pour the cans out and it's that different bag of tricks on both sides. And then you start drinking them and you end up that really bland pouring. And uh, you just don't imagine you're going to be like that. Um, what we want is an absolute barnstorming match, you know. But that would mean it's going to be nail biting to the last minute or two. That's the sort of match you want, in some ways, at least. Or someone to get a good idea. But then again, you won't want to be the one who gets, you don't want to be the side who gets good hiding, you know, or a fan of that side at least. An interesting, interesting, interesting match. I just need to make sure that July the 2nd, um, the English match isn't going to be on July the 2nd. There's, there's no way I'm doing a bloody old Tom challenge if, when the England play. Shindig a bits. Never heard of them. Yeah, 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 you can use any, any sort of pop bottle. I prefer pop bottles, to be honest. Like this one, it's a cheapo Tesco brand. And as long as you wash it out, sterilise it, all good. So. Plus you're recycling, so that's good for the environment. It's always good to recycle. Um. So, gotta be honest. Scotland, England. Liters better. Liter bottles are better because um, if you don't fancy too much in one go, a liter bottle is better. Especially if it's stronger bits, obviously. Brewdog Duopolis. I've not seen that one. 
So, to see you won it before I actually pour out a nice beer. There's a bit more flavour in the North one. They're both very un uninspiring beers, if I'm being honest. Thank God I'm not actually reviewing it. Right. I've got to say, Northern Monk just, just beats the Brewdog on taste. And that would put me, I think I, I think I had it at 2 all, 2 1 to Scotland. That would put it at 2 all. I hope the match is better than these beers. Yes, let's hope the match is better than them too, because they want the great thing. So, get that out of the way. Yeah, it was a bit average. So this is this is my imperial cream style. Um, not much of a head on it, to be fair. It did last night, so obviously because it's a two litre bottle, and I've already took quite a bit out of it. Um, not so much of a head. It did have a decent tinge of a head, to be fair. So Saint Peter's uh, cream stout, but with two kilos of extra sugar to make it quite a bit stronger, it turned out to be about eight point three percent ABV. So it's, it would be classed as an imperial on the strength wise, at least. Oh, God, chocolate. Oh, that's more fun. It's not cheap code. No. Although the problem is, I need to watch out that I don't. Um, yeah, them, them, both them, both them beers need to be sent off. Oh, rubbish! I, I really didn't like it either. Oh, that's better. You can't beat a decent. Gingerbread brown ale. It kills you when you get a um, a beer, especially one that you paid a good price for, and it's crap. And um, they're the beers when you pay whatever price you paid. And I better stop. I better quit eating that. Yeah. McDonald's. I know. I might regret it. of falling falling asleep during the match. Let me just grab my McDonald's. One does apologise. Eating food on camera. Oh. But these these don't microwave very good. So one one does apologise. So for my first food review, bacon double cheeseburger. I've noticed that a lot of the beer reviewers actually do do food reviews as well, don't they? Is that a thing to get more subscribers? Or? Can you make a glass spirit box? You can use spirit bottles if you want. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't for... Um, see, I'm wary that I'm on camera. I need this. The funny thing is, I've been to work all day and I don't eat at work. 
So this is the first thing I've had today. Bought a packet of crisps earlier. So, and uh, then obviously drinking a couple of beers. This will be the fourth beer of the night. I did, I did do a beer review earlier, um, prim primarily to test this this light out that keeps blinding me every time I look over there. I, I can't stand I can't stand sandwiches. Yeah. The last thing I want to do. What am I drinking for the game? Good evening. This. I've got a nice imperial stout for the game. Lag. You're getting lag on the feet. I don't really eat, eat a lot at all, to be fair. Yeah, I think, I think you know, I think sometimes when, when you know me beer drink, I think the beer, the calories you get from the beer, actually, um, they actually, you, you burn those calories off in the daytime. And three different people now have said to me that I've lost weight. Hopefully it's not because I'm ill. Um Yeah, today's rain is really going to help the flower. In the year, well, it's not quite a year yet. Uh, since last August in this job, I've, I've hardly ever had any dinner or food while I've been there. Um, I can't stand sandwiches. Um, I'd only eat two out of the four sandwiches. If I had four sandwiches, I'd only eat two. Six thousand miles a day. I think you might be bullshit in there. I do do at work on, on any given day at work a minimum of about eleven miles a day. And to be fair, I, I am slim, apart from a little bit of a belly, um, which you would understand, you know, being 49, right? <laughs> 6,000 miles. Do you? What do you do then at work? 30 to 40,000 steps is a lot. <laughs> yes, weddings are coming up next weekend. So next weekend, two weddings. And then once July hits, there's five weddings a week at both workplaces. Then it's going to get interesting. I don't think I'll see I don't think I'll see anybody. I think I don't think my job will change much. Oh, you're a security officer. Right here, mate. I wonder why. Ten sandwich dog. There was there was a restaurant not far out of Notting, but at one stage, and this is some years ago now, that we're doing it. I think it was something daft, like a seventy-two ounce steak. It was ridiculously sized. I mean, I've I bet a thirty-two ounce steak, and uh, I only just managed that. And um, it was one of them things where if he ate it, I'm sure it was seventy-two. 4872. Yeah, I'm sure it was 72. And uh, if you if you could eat it, you get it for free. Bloody hell, that is a lot of meat. And I'm uh, there's no way I can.
I'm a gardener, Benjamin. I did the same as well. Basically, a dog's body. Mm. 16 quid for the tomahawks, though. That's a pricey steak. But then again, if it's a decent steak and cooked decent, yeah, yeah, a bit too much for me. Yeah. <laughs> there are limits in life. I mean, I'd, I'd like the tomahawk steak, but um, if it came, but I look at that and think 16 quid, and I think, no, nah, I'd rather get four, I'd rather do a four quid steak and have 12 quid on beer. So, um, big lump of steak in Aldi this week. Is that the daddy, Father's Day steak? I've had that before. Um, is it about a five, something like that? But the, the uh, tomahawks, they're dead, that's it. Been shit shifting all day, what mucks burning? Yeah, I won't do the I won't do the ten old Tom challenge on an empty stomach. No, 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 no. I'll make sure that my I have a massive dinner before and yeah, yeah. I I'll I'll have a full belly before I come down the shed. And on my temp, on my challenge, you'll see the bottles, and you'll see there'll be no way of me trying to fake it. I've seen some of the some of the accusations over that Duval challenge of, of faking, and um, I'll spin the camera around so it shows the bottles and shows me somehow at least, and um, so there's no chance because if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. If I can't do it, I can't do it. But, you know, whoever does it, that's superstar status, isn't it? Ten. I mean, if you can't do it, you can't do it. You've got to think to yourself, can you really do ten? Yeah, it's 8.5%. Not that strong. <laughs> I'll let you into a little secret. You know the Brewmeister snake bed? I, uh, because I was going live, I had to have a couple of beers before and just to calm the nerves. And um, Gaucho, they are. And uh, yeah, I needed a couple of beers to calm the nerves. And I had nothing to eat either. And I still managed to drink. Uh, all but one, all but about 30 mils. So I did 300 mils of the um, Brewmaster Snake Burn. I've never had the Tom Hawk uh, steak either. I'm too tight to spend 16 quid on a stuff in state. Especially when Philip's only about a five. It's like, that's ridiculous. Bro. I mean, we, we could do the litre of whiskey challenge. I could do that. No problem. <laughs> so, I've actually got as well one does apologise. Double quarter pound of cheese. I suppose it's a good thing because I won't fall asleep too quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save you money. Say, oh God, look at that. Jesus Christ. Thank God it's not the half pound. So, I do apologise. Ooh. Now, for a homebrew beer that you brew yourself, that is lovely. 
It really is. And, you know, for those people who have not brewed home, but like imperial stouts, stronger beers, doing it yourself, getting a homebrew kit and um, two bottles of snake venom for 46 quid. That's cheap. I know Craig, the Kent Beer Reviews, was saying that um, with the snake venom, um, that it was that 22 quid the other, other, other week. And uh, I might need, or I might have to go and get a bottle and put it away for a future date. Then there's also that 75% job. I don't know if everyone's seen it. It's advertised on Facebook at the moment. There's a beer from America. Yeah. Uh, there's a beer from America that's 75%. You've flown a chopper. I'd shit myself getting in them. There seems to be more accidents in um, helicopters than a little. Oh, but you're in there. I know the food's killing me tonight. I really, I really wish that the waiter till I got back up the house. Because I'm dead conscious of the fact that um, I'm dead conscious of the fact KFC Big Book. I love KFC. Oh, bless you. Um, I'm conscious of the fact that people are watching the TV and they can see the food in your mouth. And there's over Nottingham Castle. Wow. And I, yeah, so I'm dead conscious. I don't want I don't want to see people eating their food and see it like a like a, a washing machine reminding the man or cement mixer, for want of a word. And um, you've seen a few choppers in the bushes in your time. I don't sound right. <laughs> two-seater. Yes, yeah, so, so I, I am really conscious that um, A Super Puma's helicopters, then, I take it. I do apologise. Um, I absolutely hate eating on camera. It's it's an absolute bug bit here of mine. It's only from the fact that the food's come. One, I'm hungry. Two, I've had, well, a couple of beers. And now I'm something nice. Quarter to eight, so we haven't got long. I shall knock off about five to eight, so you can all go back up the house. Don't want to go any. I'm trying to be slow, so I don't splurt it out all over the camera. Dog's doing well, thank you. Yeah. Still soldiering along. And uh, 15 years old now. So, port scratchings, I like port scratchings. There's a pub near me, um, the Robin Hood and Little John in Arnold. It's a Lincoln Green Brewery pub, and they're a good brewery. Um, and uh, they have uh, pork pies with a Stilton top. So, like a Stilton over the pork pies. That is a helicopter. Port and um, Good night, Max. Yes, I know. I need to knock this on the air. We'll give it to a pen, so then I'll knock it off, because I know that everybody wants to go and watch the footage, which I would too.
Yeah, I've had quite a few Buxton Brewery bits. Um, Morrison's and Tesco's do seem to have quite a few Buxton's in at the moment. About four or five, to be fair. Black pudding on top. Lovely. Yeah, See you later, Benjamin. So, should be a great match tonight. A post-game live, probably not. No, but I'll, I'll, I'll probably fall asleep during the, the game. I do know that Craig uh, Kent Bear Reviews is doing um, a live after the game, so he's watching the game. He's actually doing a, a, a live now, like I am, and. Blue, blue knows this. But Craig is definitely coming back for an after one. So um, I may I may actually go and pop on late at some stage. If I falls asleep, I might, I might actually pop on and have a chat. Black pudding, scotch egg, top. Oh, bless you. I love um what well, Craig's got Mackies as well. <laughs> A half time live up the house. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Good evening. Yeah, I might do a live at half time. Just a random half time live. Yeah. As soon as it knocks off for, for, for um, half time, um, drinking the Odeon Imperial, room review, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I'll just be glad to get rid of this fucking burger. Doing my nothing. Tell you what, Nottingham has got some great food places. Some, we've got Sat Bain's, um, there are some great places in Nottingham, you know, for decent food. Um, depending on what you want to pay. I mean, folks walking across my roof. I hope that's a bird, not a rat. All, all HDMI sockets can break. You've got to be so careful. And phones. Phones are as tetchy as hell. So... I'll give it two minutes and I'll have to knock off and uh, come. We'll come back at half time. Yeah, I'll be up the house so it, it will look a bit different. But um, luckily, I'm on my own and uh, I can chat. No one bothering me. And, uh, I'll have to try and sort out a camera angle. I will be on the uh, Ode Imperial as you do. And uh, hopefully, it's a good match. Depend on whether you're a Scottish fan, an English fan, it doesn't really matter. What matters is um, two slugs on the kitchen floor. Ooh, how are the slugs getting in your house? Just bottled an American IPA. Yeah, they make it. It is your brother. Bowman is your brother, isn't it? Just so as I remember. You know names. I looked at your name and I'm thinking, I'm sure it's Bowman. See you later, David. Enjoy the match. I'm sure boom, but uh, found two slags on your floor. Ants, yeah, yeah, ant killer all around the outside of your house. And then ah, I thought it was, yeah, 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 top class lad. Yeah, I know he's down. He's down the brew dog pub tonight, isn't he? Watching the watching the game. Yeah, yeah top class. Yeah, I know he's not here watching, so I'll say it anyway. I think it's birds, actually. Yeah, I think it's birds or scribble. Right. Going to have to go so you can all watch the match. I've just seen the hour of klaxon. Um, I'm going to come back at half time with uh, just a random beer drinking. A little chat about the match. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy the match. Whoever you're supporting, let's hope it's a good match. Let's hope that the referees 
don't spoil it. The last thing we want is the referee being the one thing we talk about. Ah, see you in about an hour. Uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One will be back. Cheers all. Ah, how do I get off? Now I can eat the rest of this thing in peace. <laughs> Cheers.